Yay, happy birthday. Thank you. Whoop. Whoop. Here you go, break the top layer. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, it is day eight, and today we're going to EDC. But take a look at this. It's frosted. Washed my face with this cloth last night. <laughs> <laughs> and my bottle's frozen too. How's the bathroom? Um, well, in the western style toilet stall, I heard some guy hacking his lung up. So I went to use a squatty potty. Just a slick layer of ice on the ground. <laughs> So you have to like maintain your balance, but it's, it was okay, it was okay. Sorry if I'm talking about it, it's because like there's just a shit ton of phlegm coming out of my nose right now. The kombu cough is real. The plan today is to walk about two hours to the last town of Gorkship, hang out there for like an hour, and then continue on two hours to EBC, and then sleep tonight at Gorkship again. If you haven't wished this girl happy birthday, it's a birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah, birthday. <laughs> Last breakfast before EBC. What's small so eating? Uh, veggie omelet. Veggie omelet. Mm -hmm. And now we're just waiting to leave because our toes are freezing. So I'm going to look Hi guys. Everything is freezing. Everything is cold. Yeah. I'm from Wisconsin though, so it's fine. Dude, aren't you cold? Oh man, I'm from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, everybody. Okay, we are getting going. Last night was very bitterly cold. It was seven degrees Fahrenheit. I don't even know, negative like 12, 13, 14 Celsius. And Gorkship is uh, forecasted to be colder. for about 20 minutes now and I've already seen like three or four people get really sick on this trail people are crawling you know walking very slow some of them are throwing up really get a feel of the uh, the high altitude and how it affects people once you get to the last two stops did you do like chorus in like high school or something <laughs> yay happy birthday <laughs> this is the Lopuche Pass that we have to go past to get to Gorkship. Everybody's going up. Came from all the way there. Yeah, walking at 17,000 feet is not easy. And uh, Melissa also has a cold. I think this is probably Melissa's worst day with the cold. What's his name? What are you naming him? Gorkship. He's a Gorkship dog. Check out the Kumbu Glacier. Look how vast it is. Wait, this is it? Yeah. Okay. Guys, that's the Kumbu Ice Fall and that's Everest Base Camp. Just got our first view of the Everest Base Camp tents. So excited to get there. And look how busy it is. Something I didn't realize is how many people are here. This, uh, this trail is pretty full. Oh, we thought March would be sort of shoulder season. I can only imagine what high oh season is like. Yeah. Busy, busy. And that's ice. Don't fall on the ice. Yeah. We're basically walking on a glacier. Yeah. It just doesn't look like it. Everything underneath it is ice. Then sometimes we'll be blast. Sometimes blast? That's not good. Pressure? Maybe not today, right? No, no, no. Tomorrow, after we leave. Yeah. Uh, thank you. As we started right over there, we've all made it all the way here. So this seems like a much longer stretch than I thought it would be. When we started on the rocks and I looked at my map, it looked like only that much was left to work to, but I've been walking for about half hour. We're not that close. Cause you're going around the glacier, you're not really walking in a straight line. Your GPS dot moves very slowly. 
Many, many minutes later. Yes! <gasps> so happy. Record shape. Good job. Good job. Yes. Welcome to Gorak Shep, 5190 meters. And our amazing guide, Umbar, yeah, is responsible hi. for getting us all the way here. Yeah, thank you. All the way. <laughs> oh man, I'm so proud of us though. I feel like we did something really, 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 really hard. Because not everybody can go 80 kilometers in seven days. Look at this. Look at the views. And if you can see Mount Everest, it's the little tippy top right here. Just a little top of it you can see. Oh, you made it before us. What a champ. Wow. Oh, busy. Nice. Very nice. Hey! We had to see you. We were wondering yesterday where you were. It's our friend. We met on the trail. We hadn't seen him in two days. But he made it. Well, seems like they're too busy. Looks like uh, this uh, place is really busy. So we're gonna move to the next door lodge. Okay. Hey, cool. What's up? Made it. This is our room in Gorkshep. Very cozy, not insulated. There's this kind of like. <laughs> I'm about to use Snickers because like we still have a thousand feet of elevation gain. <laughs> and I need energy. <laughs> it is cold. It is very cold. It's literally cold. There's no way to get warm. It is literally the cold that is making this a million times harder. If you're here in March, expect uh, temperatures about one degree Fahrenheit or negative uh, 15 Celsius. So. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna finish yeah. my stickers. We gotta go. Mm -hmm. Two EBC. <sighs> Two EBC. It's a final stretch of this fantastic expedition. Oh, we should be there in about an hour or so. I think it's only three kilometers from Courtship. gone very difficult very quickly I'm just like I'm just stopping every two seconds I keep looking for EPC but it doesn't seem to get any closer it's seriously cold my jacket is not keeping me warm today oh, I think the altitude is getting to me I can't believe we made it. Oh, it just feels so, I don't have words. It's just such an incredible feeling to finally make it to the hardest point of this hike. Also get a view of Everest that's right there in the middle. The tallest mountain in the world. Ooh. Oh wow. Hey, hear the echo. Melissa's it's choice of screen. You know? Yeah, it's a sexy mountain, yeah. You gotta give it a little love. Got kind of windy. Windier. After eight long days of hiking over six miles every day, we're here. That's magnificent. Wow. I think people are getting a little too happy here. The rock is up there. Finally! Your life has meaning! Oh my goodness. We made it, guys. You're welcome. Everybody's so excited. You made it to 53 something. 5364. Ah, they put a put a sign in front of it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It used to be just the rock before. Oh, yeah. 
It's a very modern. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, huh? They put the big sign in front of it. Yeah, yeah, funny one. Yeah, just over there you can see one of the tents for people that are summiting. And then they, I guess, start their climb on the Kumbu Ice Fall. Up to Camp 1 and Camp 2, Camp 3. We are going past the rock and actually going towards the Kumbu Glacier. It looks totally different once you get down closer to it. They start to look like, I don't know, like little mountains. It's quite slippery. Slowly, slowly, bistari, bistari. That's so cool. It's so cold. <laughs> oh, be careful. Okay. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I hurt my knee a little bit, but uh, it's okay. I don't. Oh, oh. There's this magnificent, gigantic glacier right in front of me. Take a look. Wow. Is it safe? Maybe. Yeah, kind of. Maybe. <laughs> Think I can step on it? Yeah, just don't slip. Okay. There you go. Break the top layer. Oh. Accident all around. Two of us fell down. Yeah, but I didn't do anything. Oh, my shoes are waterproof, so. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Waterproof. waterproof, yeah. Yeah, perfect. After two falls and checking out this glacier, we're ready to go back <laughs> to the rock. Turns out glaciers are not safe. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Ready? Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Very sweet. Very nice. Happy birthday. Thank you. Well, it is time to head back, but uh, last thing we got to do is put something on the Cairn at Ever Space Camp. Got to leave our mark. <laughs> the tiniest rock. Okay, it's time for us to return. Waiting for us, so. Back to Gordship. On our way back, we ran into our friends Anne and Bart from episode one, who also made it to EBC with a little help from a horse. Because of Rishi's bum knee and my cold, we decided not to attempt Kalapattar, but Bart did and got some amazing shots of the experience. Join us next time as we continue our trek. EBC may be over, but Gokio is still on a roadmap.